Hi, it's Becky and welcome to Glitter and Glue Sticks. In today's video, we're going to make three items out of hula skirts. Yeah, you heard me right, hula skirts. Um, I'm going to use all my items on my back patio, but you could use yours wherever you'd like. So I don't want to keep you guys in suspense much longer, so let's get crafty. And as always, if you like my video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys an up-close pictures of the skirts that I'm using. I got these all from the Dollar Tree. They come in a package like this, and when you open them up, they look like this. Let's get started with craft number one. For this craft, you're going to need a pizza pan, one package of the hula skirt, and two packages of the plastic shower curtain rings. I started off by painting my pizza pan the same color as my hula skirt. This isn't really needed, but I just wanted to make sure that none of the silver would be showing through. After your pizza pan is painted, you're going to set it aside to dry. Then take your hula skirt out of your packaging and start separating it into three pieces at a time. You're going to tape those three pieces to a table or something to hold it secure and then braid it down. You're going to need several of these braids to complete your tray. I went ahead and did about 15 of them. At each end of your braid, you're going to take another small piece of your hula skirt and tie them in a knot to hold them securely together. You're going to now take your braids and start gluing them with hot glue in a circular motion around the pizza pan. You're going to go around and around until you have all the pizza pan filled in with the braids. Once you get to the end of one braid, just continue with a second braid, butting it right up next to it. And then also when you're going to the second row, just make sure you keep your braids as tightly as you can together. Once you reach the middle of your plate, just snip off the braid and tuck the remaining in and set it with some glue. Next, we're going to use our shower curtain rings to make a decorative trim around the tray. First, we need to take the raffia from pieces of the hula skirt and wrap it around each of the rings until the ring is completely covered. We need to do this to about 15 rings. After everything was wrapped from our first project, this is about how much raffia we had left over. Keep that and we'll use it for our second and third project. Now start gluing each of those rings that we wrapped the raffia around, around the pan and securing them together in the middle with a dot of hot glue. Lastly, I took some pieces of twine and tied them together where each of the circles intersected together. This helped dress them up a little bit and hide some of the glue. Now on to craft two. For craft number two, you're gonna need one of these metal planters that you get from Dollar Tree along with some black paint and some of the leftover raffia that you had from the hula skirt. Start by taking all the twine off the top and then paint the bottom portion black. For this craft, you're gonna need three pieces of your braided hula skirt. After your planner has dried, you're gonna take those braided pieces of the hula skirt and wrap them around the planner, starting on the top and working your way down in three sections. Craft number two done, now on to craft number three. For craft number three, we're gonna need a round globe, some of that leftover raffia, and a solar light from Dollar Tree. We're gonna start by gluing the hula skirt to the top of the globe. When you glue, just make sure you have an even number of the sections for the hula skirt. Now you're gonna take one piece of one section of the hula skirt 
and tie it to another piece of the other section of the hula skirt, tying that in a knot. Continue working your way around the hula skirt until every other section is tied together. Here's a better view of what it would look like after all the sections are tied together. Now work your way around the globe, hot gluing each knot where it was tied together to the glass. Then flip the globe over and bundle the remaining raffia to the bottom and secure it in place with hot glue. Initially, I thought my solar light would fit right in, but it was a little too small. So I took the top of a mason jar lid and painted it black to match and then put my light into that. Craft number three done. What do you think? Here's how I styled all my items on my back porch. I really like them. How about you? I hope you liked today's video. Have a great week.